<clears throat> okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this quiz. Uh, just pause as you need to so that you can do your corrections and reflections. F is continuous from 2 to 8. Whoa. Super zoom. Okay, um, and it says it's got these values. You're using 2 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 8. Um, so you have a different distances between each of these points. So when you do a trapezoidal sum, that's why you have to do three different calculations. So this is the height over 2 times the sum of the first two bases, the height over 2 times the sum of the second two, height divided by 2, sum of the third two bases. Okay, um, 2, f is continuous um, for all real numbers, then 1 to 3 of f of 2x dx is equal to what? This is a great question. Um, it's a little bit hard because you have to understand the concept they're trying to get at here. They're trying to get at to see if you know when to use u substitutions, right? Because they have plugged a function into f and they're asking you to find the antiderivative of it. So um, you have to let u equal 2x, du is 2dx, right? Uh, bringing the 2 because there's no 2 in front of this would be 1 half du equal to dx. And then your new limits, right, when you put in 1 and 3 are going to be 2 and 6. So this is the equivalent rewrite right here, right? And the reason they tell you this is so that you can find the antiderivative of f. Right? So the antiderivative of little f is big F. So we have one half f big F of six minus one half big F of two. That's the fundamental theorem. And so that would be E. Okay. Um, number three is a piecewise function. It's asking for the limit at two. So you just have to plug two into this, two into that, see if they're the same. Turns out that these two things are different, so the limit does not exist. Okay, pretty easy. On the back, number four. Um, oh, this is one of my fave all-time questions, right? This actually might have been one on your finals, been on one of your finals already. Um, you have an increasing function f that is concave down, okay? And that's what tells you this. So if we're comparing all the different signs of uh, f's, you know, different values at one, well, f of one is zero, right? Because it goes through that point. F prime of one is positive because f is increasing, and f double prime because it's concave down is negative. So to order those, right? Um, from smallest to greatest, this is negative, this is zero, and then this is positive, so it would be in that order. Uh, the last one here, flow of oil through a pipeline, is given by the graph, which approximates the total number of barrels of oil that pass through the pipeline that day. Um, so we're just counting up. We're approximating one, two, three, four, and a total of five boxes that are each worth um, 600, right? Six times 100 units, so that would be 3,000. Barrels of oil. Um, on the green part, oh, I mean purple, I don't know, whatever color yours is. Um, first derivative is this, how many critical values does F have? So we're just looking at the zeros, uh, places where this is zero or does not exist, right? We're excluding zero, so the fact that X is in the denominator means you don't have to account for that hole or whatever it is. Um, and uh, so then you're just graphing this and counting uh, how many zeros you see. Okay. Uh, seven is cross sections. You've got these little semicircles embedded. So remember that your radius is um, eight minus x over four. Okay, because your diameter, right, the whole distance, because this function, right, is y equals eight minus x over two. That's the actual function. So to get this radius here, that is what goes into your formula, you have to, in fact, divide that by 2, right? And so that's why it's 8 minus x over 4. And so this is your setup, and then that turns out to be c. Last but not least, number 8. Um, this is applying the fundamental theorem where you set up this integral and then solve for one of these two values, right? f of 1 is given to you as 0, maybe? I'm not sure if I change this from a, a year past, so um, this is how you would set it up and then just add f of 1 to both sides, whatever you get from math 9 on this interval. Okay, finish up your corrections and reflections.